Hey, what's up guys? Max here. Good morning. And Kabam decides to do a sell, permanent sell, on rank up materials for relics. So now we're going to see here right below me, we have tier 1 class alloys, tier 1 basics, and tier 2 class basic alloys um, being sold for Paragon players um, for basically units, guys. So um, overall, sometimes... It pays to be patient. Sometimes you, you can't afford to be patient. So uh, what do I mean by that is basically relics have been out for a while. Relic items have been in the uh, battleground store where you can purchase this. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, the glory store. I was just looking at battlegrounds. The glory store where you can purchase them for fragments. So ideally you can purchase them right there. Um, for minimal fragments of your glory. I can purchase a tier 1 for 110, some tier 2 fragments. I can purchase the 10% tier 1 class alloy, which I've been doing 10% uh, on a tier 2 uh, to kind of form and just I've been using my glory and that's where it's been going. Now, I can say no to that if I wanted to or still keep it for free um, and just choose to go and buy some units now um, go buy the alloys uh, with units now uh, why is this important why is this actually helpful it's actually very interesting that they're doing this because it's gonna expedite the prestige catch up rank ups of relics so now there's a second choice a lot of people forget about this rank up tab uh, in the game because obviously it involves units it involves a cost but you can go out here and just buy three of these and every week um, just pick them up, pick them up. So why do you need these? Uh, basically, let's go look at your relics. It's interesting, man. It's interesting. Like I said, sometimes it pays to be patient, but um, sometimes we can't afford, especially if you're pushing and pushing and pushing to increase, um, you know, your champions acquisitions. You got to buy calves. You got to do arena um, or you're pushing to improve your prestige or with relics. Or it's, it's a huge thing now. But if you go rank up a relic, um, this is a rank one vision to try to get them to rank two. I need uh, tier one tech alloys, which are found in those crystals, uh, a little bit of RNG, but I can ideally pick some up there. Some tier two basic alloys, which is three of them that I need. And those I can buy from there now. So as soon as you get a five star, you basically have the option to rank that five star up. Now, the other interesting thing, that's rank one, right? So let me see if I have any rank twos. I do. So let's say I want to go Captain America rank two. I want to go and hit the rank up. I'm going to need tier threes and tier twos. Now, at the tier twos, I have the tier threes. They're not for sale. So those are still going to be able to be, have to be formed. Um, I believe didn't see that in there. The tier threes. No. So tier twos. But if I go to inventory, I don't think you're going to want to do this, but just to cover this portion of it, tier twos, right? I can go ahead and sell uh, my tier two. So you can literally buy those if you're going to be spending tons of units. Uh, you can literally spend, uh, buy those every week, sell these. Um, and then when it comes to tier three, let's go here, tier three. How many fragments do you need to form one fully formed uh, tier three? You need 2,800. So it's going to be an expensive way to do it. But there, if there's a will, there's always going to be a way to get those tier threes um, alloys into your inventory. So again, this is tied into prestige um, for your relics um, is to get all of those six stars or five stars up into the ranks of rank two, rank three. Uh, and hopefully soon rank four. Um, the six stars I still don't have, and I uh, I know there's a requirement on six stars, but I think that's majority, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be focused on the five stars. Um, myself, I'm going to try to get as many as five stars up into the ranks of rank fours. Um, you know, six stars are, for me, just far, far out at the moment. Um, Kabam keeps adding new relics to the uh the game so you know we have right now sentinel gambit that i'm missing uh when it comes to the, the relics i think there is a third that i'm missing uh as a five star but it's not showing up uh actually interesting huh i wonder why here here we go and she's uh miss marble too miss marble interesting i don't have her as a five star but she's not sh oh maybe because i have it. nope no don't have Miss Marble, but she is not in there. Okay, but um, yeah, Miss Marble is also the third uh, Sentinel Gambit. Miss Marble, 
uh, there's the third relic that got added. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Are you going to be buying this? I know most people are probably not. I, I myself if, am not, but it's nice to have that feature as a backup. It does allow me now to focus my glory on just tier threes, um, possibly tier twos, uh, but I, I can just, like I said, get some units, go in there and buy it. Um, I probably will be doing still the tier ones here. Uh, since they're so cheap when it comes to the cost um, and I'm still going to be picking up those tier threes. But now I can focus my glory uh, into more of the tier six and tier uh, tier three uh, uh, catalysts along with basics and uh, for sure, for sure, uh, tier five fragments as well. So uh, a lot. Of, so now it's going to shift basically the direction that I spend my glory into more of the rank up material which is, it's interesting how this happens, right? It's always changing. So let me know what you're gonna be doing with that new tab and new option of rank ups. Uh, that's, it's it's interesting. Again, you know, relics are not gonna go away. Relics are gonna stay. Um, and we're gonna be seeing, I think, a little bit more on the relic side, but it does free up my glory, you know, for that feature. We do, would love to see another little update here on the glory store, uh, but, Hey, I'll take what we got. Was not expecting that on a beautiful Monday, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.